Amazing breakthrough by NASA. A laser beam sent from 10 million miles away in space has arrived at Caltech's Palomar Observatory near San Diego. Hey there, mystery enthusiasts. Today's episode is nothing short of groundbreaking, as we step into the far reaches of space with NASA's Psyche mission and its revolutionary equipment. In mid-October, NASA launched the Psyche spacecraft on a mission to uncover the secrets of a metal asteroid snuggled up between Mars and Jupiter. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. Hitching a ride alongside Psyche is the Deep Space Optical Communications Technology Demonstration, or DSOC. This cutting-edge tech could redefine how we communicate in space. But why is this asteroid named Psyche so important to scientists? Let's find out. The reason that Psyche is unique is that it is metal-rich. It's believed that it may be a remnant core of an early planetesimal that was formed in the very, very earliest parts of the formation of the solar system. And after this planet started forming and this metal core formed inside of that, it collided with other bodies that then stripped off the rocky mantle, leaving this core in place. This is the part of planets that we can't sample directly today. DSOC isn't just tagging along, it's on a mission of its own during the first two years of Psyche's journey. But what exactly is DSOC? Uh, the key with DSOC is to demonstrate laser communications. Right now, uh, we use radio comm and things of that nature, but if we can demonstrate laser comm, then we have uh, the capability to have uplinks of 10 to 100 times greater than we have today. As you heard from the manager of DSOC, it's designed to be NASA's most distant experiment of high bandwidth laser communications. Forget traditional radio waves. DSOC uses an invisible near-infrared laser capable of sending data at speeds 10 to 100 times faster. This could be the key to communicating with future Mars explorers. Now, why is this such a game changer? Well, if DSOC proves to be wholly successful over the next couple of years, it could be the technological cornerstone for communicating with humans exploring Mars in the future. Yes, we're talking about faster and more efficient communication across the vastness of space. So what groundbreaking tech is NASA using to study Psyche-16? Let's see. So our payload consists of a couple of imagers, which are cameras that take pictures of Psyche. Also, a gamma-ray neutron spectrometer, which allows us to measure the elemental composition of the surface of Psyche. And then a magnetometer, which will allow us to detect any magnetic field that's left at Psyche. If Psyche still has some sort of remnant magnetic field, that, that probably tells us it really was a core. It's a strong indicator. We also use the radio on the spacecraft as an instrument, so we can map out the gravity and map out the interior structure that way. And guess what? DSOC recently achieved what engineers call first light, the successful transmission and reception of its first data. Picture this, a laser beam encoded with data from a mind-boggling 10 million miles away reached the Hale Telescope in California. That's a distance 40 times farther than the moon from Earth. The magic happened on November 14th, when Psyche's laser transceiver received a signal from the Optical Communications Telescope Lab. This initiated a two-way communication dance, with the laser beacon guiding Psyche's instrument to send data back to Earth. A formidable challenge, but for a short time, they transmitted, received, and decoded data successfully. Now, laser communications aren't entirely new, but this is the first time it's been tested tested across deep space. Previous experiments were in low Earth orbit or towards the moon. DSOC's success marks a milestone, showcasing the precision required for communication over millions of miles. It's like hitting a cosmic bullseye. But hold on, there are still challenges ahead. While DSOC won't send scientific data from Psyche, it will send test data encoded in the laser's photons. Think of it as a sneak peek into the future of deep space communication. The team is now focused on refining the laser's pointing accuracy 
to ensure seamless data transfer as Psyche travels farther from Earth. So what lies ahead for Psyche? As Psyche continues its journey, more challenges will emerge. The DSOC team is monitoring how long it takes for laser messages to travel space. During the first light, it took only 50 seconds. But at the farthest distance, it's expected to take a whopping 20 minutes one way, a cosmic game of catch-up. And in the midst of all this, Psyche is gearing up for its primary mission in 2029 studying the metal asteroid to determine if it holds the secrets of our solar system's early days. Don't we all want to know how this Earth came into existence? In this video, we witnessed a historic step in our quest for knowledge beyond Earth. Laser communication could very well be the key to unlocking the mysteries of our universe, paving the way for future explorations. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more cosmic wonders, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, keep looking up.